the dangers of connecting to a hacker's honeypot. It can do anything from wireless auditing for pen testers and sysadmins. However, in this instance, I created an open Wi-Fi honeypot called Starbucks. Now I can capture data from people connecting to it and pass them on to the real internet. If you connect to an HTTP website, I'll be able to see the exact images you see and the text or data you enter, as seen here. Even when visiting an HTTPS website, it often leaks the HTTP version it first connects to. The hacker could feed you up an evil portal that asks you to log in with your Google account to give you Wi-Fi access, then capturing your credentials, and potentially even injecting malware. It can be used to scan and attack networks. You can add their MAC address to track clients. You can load access points that they've previously connected to. You could try to force a connection by creating a honeypot by using the name of an access point the target is previously connected to. And there's a ton of modules you can install to the device, anywhere from online hash cracking and password cracking to TCP dumps, Nmap scans, DNS spoofing, and more. So always use a VPN if you're forced to connect in public places. And use the browser extension HTTPS Everywhere and make sure encrypt all